Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. Guys, I want to appreciate you for your support. Thank you for coming around. Thank you for viewing this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking our videos. And thank you for always watching. Thank you for trusting us to bring you trending news from around the world. Please, I would like to crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please do hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post a new update. And if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, I welcome you on board. I want to appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for liking. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for supporting as well. Please do subscribe to this channel if you're yet to subscribe. Hit the bell icon also so you can get notification whenever we post a new update. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful time and uh, have a wonderful reading. Nigerians PDP, Nigerians PDP kick against Senate's approval of $22.7 billion foreign loan. The opposition People's Democratic Party, the PDP, has berated the Senate for approving President Muhammad Buhari's budget request for a fresh $22.7 billion loan. It was gathered on Thursday how the lawmakers approved the external loan requested amidst some controversies. The approval was a sequel to the consideration of the report of the Senate Committee on local and foreign debts. The chairman of the committee, Clifford Odia, a lawmaker from Edo State, read the report and recommended that the Senate approve the budget. Prior to the approval, there were arguments between lawmakers and the Senate president that lasted for over half an hour. This paper also it was also reported. The federal government had earlier said the 22.7 billion that uh, is 2 billion loan will be used for infrastructure development in his recent letter mr president mamad buhari explained that the external borrowing plan targets projects cut across all sectors with special emphasis on infrastructure agriculture health education water supply growth and employment generation. It should be noted that President Buhari sent the same request to the 8th Senate under Bukola Saraki in 2016. The President requested for about $30 billion, but the then lawmakers turned down the request as the majority voted against it when it was brought for consideration. The approved loan will be funded by World Bank African Development Bank, Islamic Development Bank, Japan International Cooperation Agency, German Development Bank, China Exim Bank, and French Development Agency. Meanwhile, the opposition party accused the APC senators of approving the loan, which according to them had been rejected by Nigerians across the board. This was contained in a statement signed by Kola Olomodinho, the party's national publicity secretary. The party said, in approving more financial burden on our nation, the APC senators have further shown that their party does not have the interests of Nigerians at heart, but is only out to repress and plunge our citizens into more hardship just for their selfish gains. The PDP said, it is distressing that the APC senators approve the loan, even when the Buhari presidency have not justified the request. The fact that the $22.7 billion loan request brimmed, an, brimmed with unexplained, obscure, overbloated, and questionable subheads, such as the scandalous $500 million smuggled in under the guise of upgrading the Nigerian Television Authority shows that the APC and the cabal in the presidency are in a huge financial racket for which they are ready to plunge Nigerians into more sufferings. In approving the loan, even after it was clear that Nigerians are averse to it, the APC senators have confirmed that they are in league with other APC leaders to fleece our nation and bring more hardship to Nigerians. The party notes 
as disheartening that under the Buhari presidency, our foreign debt has continued to accumulate with nothing to show other than excruciating unemployment rates, decayed infrastructure and worsening governance system, escalated insecurity and unprecedented poverty, the statement read in part. The opposition party kept mum on the fact that some of its senators, including Mr. Odia, supported the approval of the loan. Alright guys, a quick reaction from some Nigerians. Several Nigerians have also decried the boring culture of President Buhari-led administration and its fiscal burden on the country. Paul Alaje, a senior economics in a two-part analysis, suggested how the Nigerian government can fund infrastructure and growth without going into debt. In his view, Domestic debt accumulation discourages private investment, investment level in Nigeria through increased lending rates, inflation rates, and scare resources in the financial market, which further has a significant impact on the rate of employment and the economic activities of the country. Jide Ojo, a development expert, also stated that it does it does does not make economic sense to just borrow when you can actually block leakages and have sufficient funds to run the economy. On social media, some Nigerians also expressed their grievances noting the economic effect of the newly approved loan. At General Mays, technically, they are borrowing money to fight a technically defeated Boko Haram terrorist. If captured, they borrow another to fund their de-radicalization, rehabilita rehabilitation and reintegration. Approval of Buhari's $22.7 billion loan request by the Senate is the ultimate. Another person, Audi Johnson, this Buhari's $22.7 billion loan, what is it going to be used for exactly? Will the cash be used in increasing our 4,500 megawatt epileptic national grid power supply figures to the approved 150,000 megawatt uninterrupted power supply figures? Or it's basically going to be used for trader money? All right, guys, that's some of the um, you know reactions from what people are saying. Another person says, Chijoki, PhD, said the Lawan-led rubber st stamp Senate has approved the $22.7 billion, $22 billion loan. The APC will be remembered not only for corruption, rigging, and insecurity, but also for enslaving the entire country. Well, guys, you have heard a reaction of Nigerians concerning this particular loan, which has further plunged Nigeria into deeper debt than necessary. Guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Do you think that uh, this um, loan is actually needed and necessary? Do you think that um, the Senate led by Ahmed Lawa, you know, has done right or has done the needful by actually um, approving this loan? Do you think that um, it is in good uh, condition that the country... Uh, goes to borrow this loan, $22.7 billion, you know. Well, in my own view, I think uh, they probably would have still held on a while, look into these loans, you know, give concrete um, evidences and explanation on what are they to be used for before venturing into it. Because recently, you know, some amount of money were recovered from the Abacha loot, you know. So, um, and the amount of money that comes into the government's policies through revenue, you know, is still something that needs to be, uh, you know, uh, managed. Now, over how long will these debts be paid? What are the um, assurances that this government will not be going to borrow another money in the nearest future? What are the assurances that this money, when borrowed, will be used for the said purposes? So these are issues and challenges that faces you know, the other stand as threats to this issue of borrowing funds, you know, from outside the country. What are the interest rates? You know, what are the lending rates? You know, what are the payable rates and at what stage? How do we service these debts? For how long do we service these debts? 
These are serious issues that need to be considered, questions that need to be answered. Well, guys, I'm at loss of words at this particular time over this particular news story of this amount of money. Now the prices of oil is crashing. Where will the country, you know, get money to pay back these loans? Well, it has been approved and there's nothing we can do about it. I don't just know, but it's unfortunate that Nigeria has found itself in this particular situation. Please, guys, kindly drop out the comment section. Let us know your thoughts on this particular news story. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification. Also, kindly share this news story with friends, family, relations so that they can get to know what is happening around the world. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day.